Delta of the East Peak Holding at the start. So Tim, tell us all what we're brewing again today. Moose drool. Talk to Brandon, he knows this recipe better. Brandon, really what are we doing today, Brandon? All I know is that we're doing a brown. We're doing a brown, all right. It's a little bit darker though. All right. We got a little bit of darker water. There we go. Smell it. Tim's getting ready with the hops. Yeah, I like the gray bass. Now we're putting in the grains. How long are we sleeping these for? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Now we can uh, use the, let's do a twist tie. Here. But after I'm done with my, uh, after I'm done uh, with the bottom of the yeast. Big sea bag. Yeah. I pour that out. Hot, hot water, big sea bag. Tin. Immediate reaction. Now, temperature is 170. Cover it, turn it off. Here we go. Moose drool. Big Sky Brewing. Hopefully, they'll follow the instructions. Huh? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then that's easier. All right, we've been seeping for 30 minutes. How's it looking, Tim? It's looking good, I think. That's a great color to start it out. Plus, we're going to be adding a bunch of malt in six gallons of water to this. But I think so, it's a great color for a brown ale. You're bringing the temperature up to 170. We're going to bring it up to 170. Stop the conversions, the sugar conversion. Stop it and track. Puppy day. You and my super puppy ball. Alright. Now, Brandon, you ready? We're up to 170. How many gallons should I put? Uh, whatever the rest of them. Uh, I can do four, five gallons. Can I open up a little? Get our DM. Okay, what are we adding now? We're adding dehydrated uh, malt extract. Uh, We're adding this to it now. Okay. So this is just a bunch of the sugar. You want to take your finger in there and a little bit of that. That didn't look right, but that's okay. <laughs> Testing the product first. Yeah. Uh -huh. But no, I want you to taste it. Okay, you want to really? stir it? Yeah, yeah. You want to stir it? Probably pour. Taste a little tiny bit. Taste a little bit. Sticky product. It looks like we're baking a cake. <laughs> Not what it looks like. Today. I contribute to the fact that we, the girls that we, all the new girls that I've hired, have, have been so good yep. because their very first day they all did this. On their first day training. Actually, yeah. Keep stirring it. Yeah. Yeah. 
get ready to chill it down. <laughs> Close it. I didn't know you got it stopped so quickly. Oh, that's perfect. And the cooling process now begins. Thank you, sir. Homemade chiller here. We're going a brass tap right now. No? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. No. She's just taking them over there. Wow. You're right, taking them over there, over there, but no one's working. They're going over here where you're working? Yeah, well, you know, she likes where she works better. But you're not working. You're working. I know. I'm doing something better than work. Yeah, what the convoluted is, is it's basically this right here. It's plastic mm -hmm. with one of these larger tubes inside of it. Inside of it yeah. and so the beer runs this way through this tube, and the water runs this way through this tube, and as the water runs over the top of this copper, it's an immediate heat exchange. And so you could open this up, instead of doing what we're doing right now, you just open this up, and it pours out 75 degrees. With some minor adjustments. Okay. Uh, probably bathroom. He just ate a burrito, so. I'm sure he's in the bathroom. Down to 106. I always notice that. That's all. Um, what? If you get closer with that, it, it actually. Well, it will, it, but it's within five degrees, so we say within five degrees. So if it says 96, it's probably really 100. Yeah. I just like this because once you get it to this point right now, anything that touches this beer can contaminate it. So we use even, that. Even with the, uh, even with the Sanitize? Yeah. It, yeah, but well, yeah, their, their chances are a lot lower. Oh, well, but it can happen. Oh. So I use this instead of dipping a thermometer in and out. I see. To lessen that chance. I do. I uh, usually just leave my thermometer in a bucket of sanitizer and then drop it in here. Do the same thing. I have one of these. I noticed have you ever the stirred, temperature was so different. Have you ever stirred a pocket yeah. size with a thermometer in it? Uh, no, I just, after I'm done, and then I just put it oh. in. <laughs> well, then you wait You wait the full one minute before pulling the thermometer back out to make sure it's the right temperature? Yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, I have one of these, too, the infrared. Yeah. But I've noticed that there's, we're going to iterate it. We're going to pour We're going to put this up here. We're going we're gonna to drop sure, it from a high sure. height. And when it hits that, each little particle is going to hit, it'll cool it another 5 degrees. Another 10 degrees, and we're there. That was fast. We have until we have until three o'clock to get it cool. cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so it worked pretty good. Mine that takes, this, mine takes about fifteen it's minutes. This right here, that. this here that really does it. Yeah. This right here. We're yeah. down to eighty-one. It's just cold water. Nice water. All right. Well, let's get it to seventy-five. Okay. Yeah. Since we got plenty of time, sure. let's go ahead and get it all. Sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh, uh, oh, uh, he's, sneaking. he's 
sneeze like a thousand times. Need to give him a Claritin or something. Yeah. What? A ceiling fan? Yeah. 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 Seventy-four? Oh, look at that. It's going up though. Back down to seventy-four. Because I'm spinning it. All right, we're ready to move. I think I'm good at this at this temperature, and we're under time. All right. So what I'd like to do is get this up high. Right. So we need to pull. Turn off the hose. Right. Yes. It's the black knob. On. Cram that in there. We're gonna use that to clean it off. Yeah. It's not want not. Carboy? You want some stuff on there? Yeah, let me have some sandy spray. Where's, uh, where's the sandy spray? Oh, I got it, I got it. Garage. I got to keep her clean. Got to keep her, clean. Got to keep her sanitized. Yeah. Now, if you'll take that little, that, that right there, that blue thing, yep. just put it right there. Flip it upside down. Flip it upside down. Upside down. Well, I really don't. All I gotta do is really do this. Get it started, and then we'll uh, lift it up. No, I just drop. do this. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you want it to drop like that. Yeah, you want it to drop because it's gonna aerate. Oh, is that right? I shut my sorry. No, ridiculous. Yeah, you want to aerate it. I never. Yeah, you see, it needs the oxygen to breathe or to eat. Okay, well, from now on, I need to drop it. <laughs> Not like I've been doing it. I got it. Oh, I never dropped it. Oh, no, no. See all that head that it's going to build up? You just don't aerate it after it fermented. Yeah, aerate it before you push, pitch the yeast. Oh, uh, okay. Well, now I know. Uh, Let me know when I'll, I'll hold it. All right, hold on. Let me uh, put it on Zoom. See how that warp light, when that warp light tablet's doing? See all that protein? Yeah. That's what the warp light tablet does. What you putting in there, Tim? Uh, this is Y Yeast 1098 British Ale. It's a coverall for any kind of British ales. Uh, this being a British style. So, it's smack pack. Very smack pack. You open it up. It smells like yeast. Look inside there. A little packet in there for you. We're just gonna dump it. Alright. Then I'm gonna take it. Right there. So, although we aerated it really well, I'm going to take it and I'm going to aerate it again. Put the yeast in it. Take it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.